Good evening, folks. It's me, Munch. And people ask me all the time, what kind of games do you like to play, Munch? And I'm like, you know, I like to play games that are fun. I like to play games that make me happy. So I play Pro I play Protoss in StarCraft 2. I'm going to show you my strategy. This is my ultimate bronze leaderboard strategy. Because I'm that good at I'm so good I stay in bronze. As you can see, I'm sending a unit out to find things. But he's ha not having a good time. There's quite a lot of map, and it is very upsetting. Notice my lack of building uh, buildings. There's no need for units with the strategy, because it is too powerful. Units actually deteriorate from what you need in StarCraft 2. They, the, they are the enemy, and you do not want them. Oh shit! Get out of here! Get out of here, you ret- Yeah! No! Go home! You can't see what I'm building! It ain't a pylon! It ain't nothing! As you can see, my unit, he is having trouble finding people, and that's sad, because he would like a friend. It's disappointing, because sometimes all you really want is a friend. As you can see, I'm now building another building, and still looking for this motherfucker, Samwise Genji. His name is Samwise. Samwise Genji. Samwise Gangreen. Notice how I ignore all the other elements. I do not worry about unnecessary buildings. There's no need for Vespine geysers. Nothing. My, my units will get energies. As you can see, I've deduced, using the power of Chi, where he might be, because there are only four spots on this map, because it is a four-player map. So I'm going to build a pylon right here, because I do not like him, and I would like energies. Energies. Jesus Christ. As you can see, I'm going to take a peek up here. Oh, shit, his base! Okay, good. We didn't, we didn't provoke an attack of opportunity. We are okay. We can continue building pylons. Our strategy is absolute. Take note, as the Protoss, you do not need units. Zealots, Stalkers, they are actually diminishing in capacity to what you can do. Pylons are merely there for powering up your photon cannons. Note how I build two photon cannons, and I have two of them, because if I have two people, I can build twice as fast. So I will be building pylons and cannons, because they only cost crystals, because crystals are superior. Take note of his lack of photon cannon. You can tell by the number of minerals he is spending. Notice as I store them and pause, waiting for the storm to happen, because it's going to happen. He does not know yet. He will be taken aback and will be scared. Soon we will strike, me and my photon cannon army. Now, take note as I come up here and I distract him with my body, and he's like, Oh no, that is a, a probe, and he is building something in my base, and I do not like this. This upsets me. As I go, As we go down... He notices me, and he's all... Oh, get, get it, yeah. He knows now. My presence has been notified to the authorities. We must pause and wait for our next move and build further pylons. Notice as he gets a stalker out, it, it's scary. I do not like it. We leave. So, considering, as we notice, he is continuing to assault it. It is terrifying, but we will distract him with a second pylon. Notice how, as he goes to the pylon, he is within range of my cannon. This scares him, so he must back off. Thankfully, my cannon has enough armor, to, or my pylon has enough armors to survive. I must build more probes for more energies. It's the only way to gain the trust of the people. I use Chrono Boost because that makes it faster to build more probes for more energies, more crystal. He is trying to destroy my pylon, thinking that this is an intelligent decision. Little does he know, he is in for a treat. He cannot make up his mind which to attack. But it is too late, for my photon cannons out here! Photon cannon! Yeah, that's right, back off. Yeah, destroy the stalker. Oh, see? He, he thought he was safe, but little did he know that my photon cannons also attack buildings. This is good to note, because photon cannons will destroy the enemy. There is no need for an army when you have photon cannons. Also, look here in the corner. I have now built officially a photon cannon in his base, and I'm working on my second. Because I'm a dick, and I want to destroy him as quickly as possible. I go back to my base to see how it's doing. More units are needed. This pleases me. He attempts to destroy my unit, and he succeeds. That is why I sent two. Too bad for him, I have photon cannons. And my photon cannon is too strong. He does not have the pylons for this, and he will not survive. My second photon cannon is activated. Powered by my powered by my pylon, it will now proceed to devastate. Take note how they focus immediately down on their their appropriate units. See, that thing is building and it's like and my units are like no. 
the photon cannons are not pleased with you teleporting units in. It will fuck you. Eat a dick. You do not attack in the strength or numbers that the photon can does. As it goes back to the pylons, it proceeds to destroy the warp gate. I think that's a... No. That's something else. I do not care. Because he is building warp gates, thinking that he will be able to drop them wherever he wants. And I will not let him, because I have so many cannons. Note the fear in the enemy's eyes at this point in the game. is quite terrifying, because the photon cannons will continue to rain terror upon their skulls. That's why I was going to build my probe originally. That fucker would not let me, so Samwise Ganji can go to hell. Yes, Samwise. I learned the strategy online. Bronze Mastery. What are you building over here, Samwise? Let us find out. Quickly, we will build, we will build additional pylons. Notice how he sends zealots out to assault me, and I am upset, so I send him through my death trail. I have now successfully created a tower defense for StarCraft. Except that in this tower defense game, I reign supreme. Take note how I'm building extra pylons just in case, because you know, you never know when you might need a new pylon. I've decided now that I'm going to build a cannon right here, and I hope to goodness that he does not notice. He has noticed, and I must send my unit out of the way before he is hurt. Take note how I sneak through his base, because I built something along the way because I was hungry. His unit is decimated by my cannon. There is no hope. There is no joy. There is no glory. Take note as his zealots desperately attempt to defeat me. They manage to minorly succeed. As they go in for the finishing blows, they are devastated by the cannon's strength. I ignore them. He sends his mini units after me to defeat me. Little does he know, I am too strong. By getting the jump on him, I am able to destroy him. At this point in the game, most people will leave and tell you to... F you! Fuck you, Samwise Ganji! Fuck you! You're a dick! Eat a... Eat a dick.